all right wonderful people lovers of freedom good morning good afternoon good evening to each and every one of you welcome back to let's talk tv your one and only youtube platform where they giving a back to back update on how things they be or how things they share for biafra land and beyond if you're joining us for the first time remember to subscribe and turn on your notifications too also remember to like and share this broadcast as it holds all right, my wonderful people, uh, the latest one with the boss brains uh, that we are getting at the moment. Yes, uh, uh, you don't boss the UGM or government has uh, sent uh, four Nigerian policemen uh, during fresh attack on Enugu checkpoint. Yes, my people, uh, these men have been sent to judgment by the gunmen uh, in a fresh attack in a no good checkpoint. Yes, my people will be going into the details of this news immediately. Yes, uh, I see the whole thing says here that uh, a community source who spoke to newsman uh, said the policemen were conducting a stop and search at a checkpoint when the government opened fire on them. At least four police personnel of the Nigerian police force have been killed by gunmen who attacked popular for Corner Junction Ozala, yes, uh, in Enugu State. A community source who spoke to newsmen said the policemen were conducting a stop and search at this checkpoint when the gunmen opened fire on them. Uh, there was a video uh, seen on the Sahara reporters and uh, this showed the lifeless bodies of a police officer in the uniform on the expressway while a police patrol vehicle burned nearby. A user who posted the video wrote, policemen just lost their lives at the Four Corner Junction, Enugu State, the expressway that leads to Imo, Apia State from Enugu. A non men attacked the police check marines at the Four Corners, uh, Enugu today, being uh, today, and killed the policemen. Uh, as uh, in Biafra land, if you know, you know, another one added. Uh, as of the time of this report, the police public relations officer for Enugu State, the DSP Daniel Nduke, has not answered calls or responded to messages. This is how it always is, my people. Similarly, Mr. Dan Wome, the special assistant to Governor Peter Mba on media, had not provided a comment or confirmation of the incident. A former information minister and 2023 All, All Progressive Grand uh, Alliance governorship candidate Dr. Frank Mweke Jr. condemned the attack, describing it as an act of wickedness, of course. In the States on X, that's like Twitter, uh, it said that uh, earlier today, the Ozala community in Kan, in, in Kan West local government area, Enugu, is in the terror of the so-called unknown men who attacked policemen on checkpoint duty at the Four Corner Junction among uh, along the Enugu Potakot Expressway. Their patrol vehicle was also destroyed by fire. I extend my condolences to the families of the deceased and the men and officers of the Enugu Police Command. It is unacceptable for anyone to die in such a brutal manner while simply performing their duty to protect citizens and uh, maintain public order. Yes, my people, this is what is happening to the zoo uh, police at the moment. And we know that uh, as whenever it comes to things like this, it is on another level. And people, uh, these UGM people have uh, been doing a whole lot. As we know that uh, Woto Woto is what has been taking place. And uh, of course, the zoo police are not even uh, able enough and not even gunned up or armed, armed, armed to the teeth enough as these people and they uh, of course they are no match they are of no match to them whenever it comes to the face-to-face -face gun battle and that is just lets us understand that uh, the zoo security is as porous as it can ever be and it is not even safe for anybody to stay and depend on the safety that comes uh, with the with the government or with the the, the so-called uh, zoo policemen it is not even advisable at any point and so it is one of the things that you would think of and you would not want to think about a lot of times because of the things that have been taking place uh, in nowadays rather in the in biafra land and so it is one of the things that you would look at 
and you'd actually want to prefer that uh, Biafra comes and the Biafra independence takes place as soon as possible because uh, the sooner the better, the sooner we we'll all would all be protected and things would go better for us. And so, in a whole lot of things, and we would really want their freedom because if we stop fighting, uh, if we stop fighting, my people, then we are letting them know that we are not as serious as we've been. That is just the truth of the matter. Anytime you decide to stop fighting, you, you, it will just mean that, yes, that we are not as serious as we claim to be, in quotes. It will just be something that they would come out and say. It means that we are not ready for whatever it is that is happening soon. And so, my people, we are not giving up, and that is what these people think, think, think they have against us, being ready or looking for where to give up. We are not giving up anytime soon, and that is the truth of the matter. Okay, my people, uh, we have uh, another one in our in our front right now that we are getting. It says here that 44 fear, 45 uh, has been feared dead. Uh, 45 headsmen have been feared dead uh, recently in Benue community. And so it could be. Uh, they say 45 have been feared dead in Benue community. Uh, my people, see the killings in Sankara. Exists, particularly Ukum, local government area of Benue State has uh, remained unbeaten because of the issues that have uh, been coming out ever since. He says that, however, unbeaten, resulting in the killing of about 45 persons in the area. However, the member in the Benue State uh, House of Assembly uh, represents the Ukum State is constituency, Ezra. In Yiyongo, said about 20 people lost their lives in the incident. The incident which took place in Bage uh, community of Ukum local government area and also claimed the lives of a family of seven, left 30 persons with various degrees of injury, while scores have de been declared missing. In the attack by the, by the people who were working with the members of a militia group in the area, in its bid to eliminate another militia group. Daily Independent learned that most of those people that were killed were members of the two rival militia gangs. However, while we gathered that, uh, that about 12 peasant farmers who were caught in the crossfire were among the dead, the people of Berge and its environs have been displaced following the killings in the area. A top military brass in operation were stroke OPWS, who would not want his name in print, confirmed the attack and, second, and the circumstances surrounding the incident. He said, these are militia men killing themselves. Yes, we acknowledge that probably one or, uh, one or two people may have been caught in the crossfire, but the majority of the people that were killed are members of the militia gangs in the area. Currently, we are in Kwande and are trying to contain the situation uh, in the area. And as you can see, Calm has been restored to the area. We have been able to flush out the headsmen out of Kwande, and can I can assure you, normalcy will be restored soon. But be that as it may, our troops are in the area, Ukum, to ensure that the attack does not affect innocent people. Meanwhile, the state commissioner of police, Emmanuel Adeshina, said more police officers have been deployed to the area to contain the situation. Speaking on the condition of anonymity, a traditional ruler in the area explained that the fight started on recently and following a disagreement between one rival gang and the other who was backed by the headsman over the weekend. He stated that what followed was that another militia gang in the Ukum now went and joined forces with the Fulali militia gang in Taraba to help them eliminate the rival gang in Ukum. The accent was to enable him be the head of the militia in Okrum. Okay, so uh, he says the combined forces of the headsmen and militia gang started moving into the bushes of Bega in their hundreds from Sunday to sack the other rival gang. From what we gathered, over 45 persons were, were lost, or rather, who were mainly bandits were lost in the in the in the crossfires and uh, and though some farmers were also lost who were caught in the crossfire over 30 others were injured while some are also missing 
Uh, my people. So my people, these uh, Fulani people are giving issues to a whole lot of people, not only people that are just wherever they are, but every single person. And these are not the people, and these are the people we wake up and we give, we are saying that in, in, in Oweri or Iwo Land or in Anambara, wherever it is, that we would wake up and give them a space or an opportunity in our land to stay and go and get their files. Look at the amount of issues they are causing in their own place. Yes. In various states. So think about what these people will be able to do in our own state. Think about the, 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 the mayhem they would cause allowed and allowed into our land. Already we already know that they have already been causing a whole lot of issues in our land. Now think about what they will do if we are now if we now give them that audacity to enter into our land and do whatever it is they seem uh, that is right for them. My people, it means we are sem uh, sentencing ourselves to death, which would be the worst thing we could ever do to ourselves. Also, yes, my people, this is it. This is where we've come to the end of this particular broadcast. Thank you for joining us. Remember to subscribe and turn on your notifications too. Thank you.